orders of Agent Alpha, the Pentagon's tiniest covert operative. That's me. Come on in. Come in. Agent Alpha, I'm a reporter for the Daily Apple. I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Sure, sure. Well, tell us about yourself. Most people don't even know I exist, but I'm everywhere. In the air, the water, the soil, maybe even in you. <laughs> I usually go by an alias, isotope 238, depleted uranium, or my favorite handle, nuclear waste. Nuclear waste? Why, you little stinker, you. What are you doing here in the bowels of the Pentagon? I may be tiny, but I'm strong. I have 238 protons and neutrons, and I'm denser and heavier than lead. That's why the Pentagon uses me to armor tanks and for artillery penetrator points. My ballistics can cut through conventional tank armor like butter. Right, so you can incinerate everybody inside the tank. That's the point. When I strike, I become superheated and explode into deadly particles of molten glass. It's called a ceramic aerosol. I fly through the air as millions of radioactive specks. Isn't that poisonous? Of course, I'm very toxic, but goodness knows I'm friendly. Just because I might be inhaled by any soldiers who happen to be nearby, that doesn't mean I'll do them any harm. Oh no. The next four and a half billion years or so, emitting very low level, mild alpha radiation. Why? It's so weak, it can be absorbed by tissue paper. Is that so? <laughs> well, I want to hear it from an expert. Let's get a nuclear physicist in here, huh? Actually, the effect of the DU particles on human cells is analogous to a, a car plowing into a crowd of people. It may not go far, but it can do a lot of damage. What kind of damage? Well, common effects of DU are liver disease, lung cancer, leukemia, and birth defects. Prophesizing doom, but the Pentagon knows best. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see that. It says here that low levels of, and dosages have been implicated in cancer. Don't try reading the fine print. Oh, yeah. The guys at the Pentagon love me. They use me by the ton. Don't they call you their secret weapon of mass destruction, Agent Alpha? Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> oh great, now you're spreading all over the world. And that's a good thing. Some say that you're responsible for the cancer epidemic in the Bosnian town of Hazici. What a load of crap. When the US government studied hundreds of Gulf War veterans, they learned that most of their babies had serious uh, serious health problems or birth defects. So what? That's not blame me, I'm innocent. Yeah, right. Just because one out of every three families in Basra, Iraq, has a child with a birth defect, that's just a coincidence, right? Right! Just because I hang out around there a lot, that doesn't mean it's my fault. So tell me, Agent Alpha, why are so many veterans claiming that they have radiation sickness? Oh, them. They're just whiners. I'm sick to death of hearing about that. Look at this guy. This lefty journalist got to him. I had been told that my levels were too low to be tested, but I knew there was something wrong with me. When the results came in, I had a high level of depleted uranium. I was urinating blood, and they had a large lesion on my liver. All the guys in my unit were sick. The Dutch tested our site, and they wouldn't even camp near us because of the radiation. I had no idea that I'd been exposed. When my daughter was born with three fingers missing, I wanted to get tested, but they told me there was no such test. Now I have a tumor on the base of my brain. 
there is a connection between depleted uranium and birth defects. I want to make sure everybody knows about this. It's all been a cover-up. Looks like you've got problems, Agent Alpha. Ha! These people think they can sue the U.S. government? They must be crazy. Their baby's birth defect had nothing to do with me. Hit it, Roz. The cold hard facts just aren't there. None of these claims has any merit. Great! You just earned your six figures. Now you can retire before the shit hits the fan. <laughs> Depleted uranium weapons are nuclear weapons. Depleted uranium weapons violate the Geneva Convention. Take action now to ban DU. Thank you very much. <laughs>